Greetings, dear ones. This is Cryon on Magnetic Service. It always is. I talk to you about love. I talk to you about compassion. I talk to you about the times and the energy that is, that is changing. The meditation is saying, take the higher ground, take the love test. Do you see what the message is? It's always about love. The word has been used so commonly that you're truly not aware of the impact, the profundity of the love of the creator for you. Or that which has been put inside you in these days so that you might take that higher ground. I say this because this is indeed still a channeling in January. And that means we are still celebrating the new year. It's the new year celebration month, January 2023. We have covered several aspects of a new year celebration of what you might do that you would be a little different for you. That you might do something that, that would be what, not, not, not just different for you, but something you've never done. In the attitude of the new year, we started by telling you some weeks ago that we realized this is a celebration of a calendar year. It is a, a new year for you, not for everyone, for there are many different kinds of calendars, but it's very common in your, your society. And so let's go all the way with it. Let's carry it even to another level. This is a new energy on the planet, and the majority of those listening here are old souls. My partner has explained old souls many times to you, and he did that just a moment ago. It is a recognition of a human being who's been through many lifetimes on the planet, like a school, indeed, and comes out with a little higher consciousness, knowing a little more than they did the first time around, or the second, or the third. The light worker is the same. These terms are used synonymously. My partner also rightfully said that there is a new energy here that says what the old soul does is starting to be seen and acknowledged by those who are at a lower level, perhaps, in that, that Akashic lineage. They haven't been here as many times. And what my partner said is this new thing that he is starting to see is that they can absorb the wisdom, starting to see the compassion of those who are wiser, and start to learn from those while they're on Earth, rather than having to go through cycle after cycle and coming back. This is new. This would be perhaps controversial to those who say, well, it always has worked a certain way, therefore it never changes. And that's not accurate. This new energy has changed the very system, if you want to call it that, that we look at. For those who are gaining knowledge and how they do it and how wisdom is transferred and how love is seen. What if this particular New Year's celebration, you ask yourself something perhaps you've never asked yourself before. Number one, the energy is different here, and it's never been like this as long as you've lived. 2023, the energy has never been like this as long as you've lived, no matter how many lifetimes you've lived. Therefore, instead of having a New Year's resolution, or planning something that would then go into that same train track or that same path as you've always done before, there is an acknowledgement it's a different train. It's a different path. It's a different ocean, as we have said, for any boats going on it. It's a different energy. So you cannot navigate the new energy like you did the old. But the old soul knows what to do. 
What is it that would make this energy better for others? What if this New Year's resolution time right now, this particular channel, was you saying, what can I do to enhance the rest of humanity in this new ocean that we're going to, to float a new boat? And that came from the Circle of Twelve some weeks ago. What is it I can do for that new train track, which has just been, just been put here to go, what, what has no history on it? Now, that just came from, from a couple of weeks ago. These are metaphors to going into a new energy that has never been experienced. What can you do, old soul? You have the tools. You know what to do. One of the reasons is because you've been in the old energy. You know what works, what doesn't work. You also have seen what we've said over and over can change the planet. You have the power to send forward into this new energy. You have the power to send forward concepts that you already have as a human that are multidimensional and can be projected on that new train track. That's what you have. Now, the old souls who are listening to this right now, the light workers, can all do this. You wouldn't be tuned into this program otherwise, honestly. You know how to do all these things. What are the few things you know that could change the world? If you could paint a broad picture of civilization and you could place upon that broad picture concepts that you know how to, to do, what would they be? In an older energy, when somebody comes up to you and they don't like you or calls you a name, in an old energy, the instant is a, is a reflex of defense. But the old soul over many lifetimes has learned something different. They don't respond with defense. They look at it and they know something is wrong within the person who is telling them or calling them a name that they're upset. And so rather than having a defense, there's immediate compassion. It's almost like we're sorry you're having a bad day. Do you see how this is turned around and an old soul would do that? What is this? What do you call this? Tolerance, perhaps? Kindness, perhaps? Wisdom, perhaps? Take that one thing that you see there and say, I project this into the future because I can, because I'm an old soul here for that reason. I take and put this on that new train. Tolerance, wisdom. I project this kind of wise reaction like a master would have, would come with the new energy for 2023. Just a little more of it would help everyone. What are other concepts that you know would change the planet if more people had them? We have given you them over and over. A higher consciousness, well, that's just a little obtuse. <laughs> it's a higher thing to say. So let's give attributes. Number one, compassion. A more compassionate civilization where they look at one another and they emote. They're compassionate to one another and they have compassionate action toward each other because they love each other. So let's put compassion on that train. And you might say, as an old soul who has earned the right to do this, I put this compassion on this train and I send it forward for 2023. And you say, I can do that because this is my lineage. This is why I'm here. Let's pick up some more. As an old soul, I'm going to send more kindness, more kindness at the, at the family level all the way to government. More kindness is needed. And I push that into that train. 
and hoping that it will blossom and become coherent and we'll see more and more of it. You see where we're going with this? You, old soul, listening to this, have the ability to do this. To push these things forward in a multidimensional way into 2023 so that your actions start making it a better year for others. Finally, the big one. You might say, dear spirit, I put love on that train. The kind of love that the creator has for humanity. So people can stop and drop into their heart and calm themselves and understand that there's more than they were ever told, even without having anybody telling them that. That people would realize from this love that there's a grander, greater truth, a bigger one, perhaps, that they were told. That they would go forward. At the moment somebody in the future is thinking about taking their life, that this would then occur to them. I push this to them at this moment so they'll feel me loving them and they will change their mind and say, I'm going to, I'm going to look around a little more. I'm going to make some, make some decisions. Do you see what I'm saying? You can do this. You're putting these things on that 2023 20, train. And that's why we're here. Old soul, did you know that you had the authority and the talent, the ability to do all that? Well, now you do. You might sit for a while and think about that. I'm crying in love with humanity. And so it is. <laughs>